in 2016, I kind of had my injury and moved out of the game for a little bit and mentally healed, physically healed a little bit and uh, ended up moving to Nashville, married my wife. We moved, she's a dentist, opened a practice. I've opened a sports performance trainings kind of facility with batting cages and weight room and trying to, you know, do what I'm passionate about, give back and kind of give as much advice and give these experiences that I've kind of gone through and try to educate and pass the information along. So uh, what was the kind of the plan here today for you? What's, what's kind of going on? Yeah, our plan, you know, at this, uh, we call it an arm care camp, but we're trying to cover as much as we can in terms of the baseball body and the functionality of it. And, you know, we have Dr. Travis Vance to do, you know, the anatomy of the arm, you know, myself as the player that has gone through it. And then Drew as the athletic trainer, you know, we're all kind of, our, we form a pretty good circle in terms of what our knowledge is and what we're trying to get across. And I think it's just, the, there's so much information out there and there's so many different variables about throwing and baseball. We're just trying to kind of, I don't know, give a good workshop for the coaches to learn and to be able to pick our brains and be able to take the information that we've gotten and apply it to their guys. And no matter if it's a middle school, high school, college, pro level, we just want to be able to pass as much along. How interesting is it for you to have a guy like Drew that's now a doctor that you kind of grew up playing baseball yeah. with that's maybe on a, a little different perspective than yeah, see, yeah, definitely seeing that Dr. Travis, you know, it, it, it's a little bit different, you know, when we, we grew up, you know, he's the third baseman, I'm pitching, it's like now it's like, oh, we're, you know, we're still hanging out. It's, it's, I think that's the cool part about sports is the bonds you create and the, the friendships and then, you know, once you get done playing, you're able to come back and give back and do some of the things that... You know, you always looked up to the people that did that, and I, I want to be one of those people that, you know, is able to give back and be a resource for not only baseball, but sports in general. Uh, so, how do you kind of look at your story? Because, I mean, you will probably be able to kind of look back in, in five, ten years' time. How do you look at your story? I mean, you came out, you're North ninth of our pick, and it kind of, kind of spirals a little bit. How do you yeah, kind of definitely. keep perspective on your Story. Uh, you know, I try to take as many positives. You know, I've done a lot of great things in terms of on the field, off the field. So I don't, you know, I don't let the injuries beat me up too much. As you know, they do. Obviously, they creep in and because they're you know, stare you in the face. But I, you know, I try to keep it as humble and as you know, don't let the roller coaster climb too much. And you know, sit on the same same way every time, no matter if it's good, bad, great. I just, I've you know, kept a really good positive attitude considering you know some of the stuff I've gone through and experienced and. That's why I'm here, you know, that's to give back and do what I can. What's the one piece of advice Jared Parker now would give to Jared Parker at that? Slow yourself down a little bit and enjoy it. You know, uh, it, it happens so fast. It's like boom, 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 three weeks later, you're like, did I, you know, just to be able to slow it down and process it and just be a little more in tune and, you know, take as much as you can from it. Uh, my last question, uh, can I see the, the, do you have the oh, yeah. elbows stuff? What do you think about when you look at those things? I try not to. No. <laughs> yeah, there's, I think about a lot of, you know, through a ton of innings, they got a lot of great work out of it. And, you know, there's just modern medicine's great. And, you know, I got a lot of chances to, yeah. to do more because of the, you know, the work that's put in. Uh, how many did you have? I've had five total elbow surgeries. Five total yeah, surgeries. so a couple scopes and a couple, you know, three real big ones and two kind of minor scopes. Yeah.